Art, here's the REO that we were just talking about on uh, 22506 Caminito Pacifico. You got your standard uh, two car attached garages. Basically what you're looking at is the uh, the Monterey's and the uh, San Franciscans across the street. And you got some parking right there, kind of a little green belt area. And then uh, down at the end there you have more parking. And uh, real quiet here. Coming up, uh, came up at the end here off of uh, off of Santa Vittoria onto Caminito Pacifico. We're probably about um, a dozen to 16 units in from the main street there. The funny thing here is your standard storage. Here's the entryway and your staircase. One thing that this is missing is an entry door to the garage. So I'm not actually able to look in the garage, so I'm gonna have to ask what's the story in there because I can't see it. Now your flooring is the bamboo flooring. That's uh, hardwood, uh, missing baseboards. As you can see, you need to have baseboards put in. Um, the staircase is open here. You have a nice skylight. You kind of have a cheesy old uh, fixture that'll need to be replaced. Now the oddest thing about this unit here is they've taken what's typically your living area and they've built a room here. What you have is an opening, you have a door, and you have a small room with a kind of little peekaboo hole there. So what would need to be done to make this like every other Santa Barbara we've seen is basically to tear down this drywall, which I can't imagine would be too much of a project because you know that there's nothing retaining there because we've never seen a room there before. Um, but your kitchen does not have the opening um, to the dining and it does not also, it doesn't have an opening to the staircase as well. It's an original kitchen. It's got your original uh, cabinets we've seen many times before. Um, appliances look like they're, you know, somewhat dated. Um, original countertops. You have a little bit of a potentially minor water damage from a, possibly a leak to the refrigerator. It looks like they pulled up some of the bamboo flooring. Again, baseboards kind of throughout this whole place are needed. Here's your view from the kitchen sink. Kind of your green belt, your parking there. Again, it's very quiet here. Um, your dining. Here's your, your view from your dining, kind of the same thing out above the green belt and the Monterey's. Here's your patio. It's a tiled patio. Slightly dirty, but generally in pretty good condition. Kind of a trees view. You know, good location in the track. Not an end unit. Again, you got the baseboards that are needed. Um, we walk through the hallway. The nice thing, the bamboo flooring is in pretty decent condition. All the rooms have brand new carpet. So one of the really nice things is you don't have to worry about flooring in this unit. So that, obviously that's you know a couple thousand. Um, all the ceilings are scraped. There is, it looks like they need an air conditioning vent put there. Yeah, ceilings in the whole place are all scraped. There's no popcorn. It's textured. You have some can lights above the dining room there that are currently not functioning. You do need closet doors, and obviously you need to put up a stick so that you can hang clothing because there are no closet doors and no uh, built-ins. Master bath. Looks like these lights are out above the sink, but actually quite nice. We have a, an upgraded vanity, um, which is, you know, slightly higher. Toilet looks like it's in good shape. The bathroom looks fine. I would probably take out these, uh, these funny mirror things around the sink, possibly just replace that with a can light above. But again, scrape ceilings, nice, uh, kind of more contemporary looking uh, tiling, almost something you'd expect to see like in a, I don't know, a modern Japanese restaurant. You're on a dimmer. Um, real private, behind the unit. This is from the master. You kind of have this green belt. Original windows. You can hear the air conditioning running, just making sure it gets cold in here. But uh, yeah, real private back here. You have trees. 
you see up the hill are, are more units up there, but extremely private. Um, that's Actually, the Master does have baseboards, which are slightly higher than kind of your standard baseboards, but nowhere else have I seen baseboards. You have the same tile as in the bathroom and your laundry area here. You've got some storage space. Your secondary bathroom here. Um, looks like the top is kind of that original cultured marble, but the vanity actually looks like it's new, new doors. Looks like something, you know, from Ikea. Nothing too fancy, but, you know, newer. Toilet looks good. Bathroom enclosure, actually this tub uh, and shower enclosure looks relatively new, probably in the last couple years. Somewhat, you know, for 1970s built, this is definitely newer. It's in good condition, probably just needs new grout around the edges. Other than that, the fixtures look good. You got a cam light up here that appears to be not functioning. Here's your, another set, one of the secondary bedrooms, again, new carpet. You need a closet door here, but you do have the hanger rod. No fixture in that bedroom, but you do have a smoke detector. Um, same thing, smoke detector, no fixtures, new carpet. In here you do have baseboards. Um, you actually have a relatively nice built-in, but again, no closet doors. And just to peek, I don't think the, the master has no light fixtures either. You have light, nice light, light fixture in the hallway. Another smoke detector. Um, thermostat, somewhat dated, um, possibly original. Here's your storage. Throughout the whole thing, the whole thing needs baseboards. The paint is in uh, actually excellent condition. It may have been painted recently. Um, lots of texture. Looks like they got kind of some white speckles here just painted carelessly. But other than that, it's it's in pretty decent condition. It needs to have this whole uh, extra room removed. It needs baseboards throughout. It could use windows and doors if you wanted to upgrade those. And of course, the kitchen. Um, not saying it's got the uh, what you would need, except missing fan blades, got a light over the sink. This kitchen generally needs to be you know completely remodeled if you wanted to have a nice kitchen. So, um, yeah, good unit, not able to look in the garage, but yeah, my main concern would be baseboards, um, getting rid of this room, and your kitchen. Bathrooms are in relatively good condition, so again, baseboards, kitchen, and this funny room here, and then getting clarity on the garage, because I have not been able to look in the garage. Hopefully this is helpful. I will talk to you soon.